Good evening, everybody. Christian Kraswitz here. Tonight, we're going to talk about Apple's newest operating system called Lion. And for anyone that's a, a Mac fan, I have to say, this is a great upgrade. You know, normally when you upgrade software, um, it costs, you know, maybe $80, $90, $100. Apple is making this software available for only $30. Um, great that they've uh, decided to offer it at such a low price. There are a few downsides. Uh, for people that want physical media, um, Lion is going to be a Mac App Store only download. Um, it'll be $30. Um, if you do want a backup of that, you can buy a USB stick for $70 from Apple that has Lion already installed on it. Uh, this will be your only form of getting the media. Um, so if, if you're looking to say, hey, well, I'm going to go to the Apple Store and buy this, um, good luck. It's an App Store download only. So just want to get uh, get you started with uh, how do I um, prepare myself to download Lion and kind of walk you through some of the steps you'll need to take. So to get started, obviously, on my Mac, um, I want to make sure I go up to the Apple menu and I want to go up to Software Update. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick check here. Um, I've already upgraded my system, but uh, basically you want to check for this because Apple has released some updates to applications like Safari, um, to the Snow Leopard operating system. And uh, these are kind of crucial that you install these before you install uh, Lion because um, you know, they're kind of stability patches and whatnot to help fix some things that might have been broken. Um, so here we are, we're gonna check for some new software here and see if there's anything available. And of course, you know, I know there's not, but um, Lion, you know, it's, like I said, it's supposed to bring a lot of great new features. It's supposed to really tie in the iOS um, operating system, you know, the iPhone, the iPad, um, into um, Apple's typical uh, user experience. So let's just let this continue checking. And as you can see here, I don't have any updates, but if I did, they would appear along here on the left and there'd be a box, a little checkbox, and I would just say install and it would run everything. So this is the first thing you wanna do. You wanna check your software updates. Um, the next thing you're gonna do once you've uh, checked your software updates and you're ready to go buy Leopard, or sorry, Leopard, Lion. Uh, Leopard was a past release. Um, you could go to apple.com and in this case, we can click on OSX Lion available now. And what this will do is it'll give you some features and whatnot that Apple's offering with this, which in this case, there are over 250 new features. And you're probably like, well, that's a lot of really new features. Well, they're probably mostly subtle changes and whatnot to things. Um, but uh, I'm gonna just walk you through how you download this. So if you're ready to get it, you just click here and it's gonna take you over to, um, it's gonna launch the uh, Mac App Store for you. So let's just do this real quick. So we're gonna load Lion. I'm gonna launch the App Store. And now I can go in and I can buy Lion. And as you can see here, What's really neat is that, you know, it's just like the iTunes store uh, for people that haven't used the app store yet, the Mac app store. And as you can see, there's 5,700 downloads already and people are rating it a five star um, download. So basically if we wanna buy this, all we have to do is this, we click on this, we click on buy app and it's gonna start to download. Now, um, this does tie in your iTunes account. So if you've got, you know, any gift cards or anything like that on there, um, you can use those. Um, and as I mentioned, it's $30. And um, one thing I do want to mention is that it's a really big download. It's about 3.49 gigabytes. Um, so you need about four gigs of space to download it. Um, another thing though that you're gonna need before you can install it is you're gonna actually need about 10 gigs of storage to be able to install it. So that's just a, a quick rundown. So, um, you know, it's about four gigs. It's gonna take a little while, like, I'd say at least 30 minutes to an hour to download depending on your internet speed. So um, prepare to wait a little bit. But there you have it, that's OS X Lion, how to download it. Um, I'm gonna be doing another uh, video tutorial uh, soon once I've gotten it downloaded and started to install it. So I'll talk to y'all soon, thanks.